was a wet, miserable day when we drove into Liverpool to have our life raft serviced at Norwest Marine. We purchased the life raft three years ago, so this was its first serviced, and we soon got our first surprise. It's not going to be firing off, you know. Oh, isn't it? Oh, <laughs> oh man. <laughs> no, it just, it just gets fired off the compressor. All oh, right, OK, yeah. The way the yeah. gas is on there. There's no point spending under quid on the cylinder. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've, I've never had a life raft service before, so I don't know what to expect. You know. Our particular life raft is a sea safe four man self writing life raft. It weighs slightly more than a comparable four man life raft due to the additional tubing and slightly bigger gas bottle required to inflate the tubing. The life raft itself was sealed inside a vacuum packed bag which had to be cut open in order to perform the test. Once it was laid out on the floor, you could clearly see some of the components which make up the life raft. For example the drone on the right hand side and some of the ballast pockets which hang down underneath. The gas bottle had to be disconnected to perform the test. It was pointed out to me that a new one costs around about £100, which is why they don't actually use it to inflate the life raft during the procedure. Yeah, <laughs> which is incredible really, isn't it? Yeah. Oh, okay. That's the light. Yeah. That knife over there is to cut the painter line yes. once you're in the life raft. Oh, yeah, yeah that's yes. the way it is, right? Yeah, that's right. Okay, that's brilliant. That's your pack there, and your plan of technics, and we'll go through it with you now. Okay. Yeah. This is just a, just a lockout point. Yeah. Okay, yeah. Wow. Well. Go from the pack. Yeah. That's your gas still on there. It takes about 10 seconds to be fully inflated. You'll lose the container and it bursts out the bag. Oh, right. About 10 seconds it took. Where did you buy this from? It was. Was it? It was. Uh, yeah, Suffolk. Suffolk, you got a good price? I think at the time, yeah. I don't think I knew about this place at the time, to be honest. Yeah. But uh, you're a bit more handy than Suffolk. We have players.
Oh, this will be out of date. What? Um, repair kit. <laughs> I don't know if you're going to do repair. Yeah. <laughs> Where are you like? Okay. Seasick bags. Yep, good. <laughs> You've got a hole in the back, there's a clamp, but... Yeah. All oh, right, okay. Yeah. And some bellows. Well, seasick tablets should be in here. Right. Oh, yeah. And then just, there's another logbook of what you've got here, and some instructions. Wow, right. It's everything. Yeah, well... That's incredible. I didn't, I didn't actually expect so much in it. Yeah, yeah, it's quite a bit, isn't it? yeah there is. Yeah, and that's just a less than twenty-four hour kit, isn't it? Yeah, you can get a solar speed pack, but it's got a, a smoke as well and some TPAs. Right, right. Well, that's interesting. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Yeah, I'm really glad we came to see it actually. Just get panels down here. There's a little thing here to turn your light off. Um, off or on. See that there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 Once the inflation test was complete, we left the raft with the guys to complete the service while we got the train into Liverpool. The 28th of March was actually the day of Ken Dodd's funeral, therefore there were lots of tickling sticks on show around the city. After enjoying a nice hot coffee in the Moose Cafe, we made our way down to the Albert Dock, where we decided to have some lunch. To our surprise, we found a nice little westerly centaur moored amongst the other boats in the corner of the dock. Even the statue of Billy Fury was paying homage to Ken Dodd by sporting his own tickling stick. On our way back to the station, we passed Matthew Street and its famous Cavern Club.